Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So in this particular episode, I will be explaining about how to overcome or how to fix commit error while using Savable Data Bridge. Okay, so we might be getting a lots of errors uh, while we invoke or while we working on this particular Savable Data Page as well. Okay, and also a uh, few of the aspects like you know few of the interview questions will be coming from Savable Data Page as well. Okay, so if we uh, work thorough with the Savable Data Page. Okay, and if we have some uh, hands on uh, on Sable data page, then we can easily uh, can, uh, you know, understand those questions and we can easily, uh, you know, answer to those questions as well. Okay, so as part of this session, I will be explaining how to fix that and as well, I will be explaining few of the interview questions by this end of this video. Okay, so a small request from my end. Okay. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, so please do subscribe why because uh, you you won't miss any sort of updates from Pega and uh, as well as Kiri kind of updates. Okay, right. So before uh, you know, uh, let's start uh, this session uh, with the uh, you know one of the scenarios we have like you know in our previous uh, you know uh, like use case. Okay, so what we have done, so we will be having a data so this is the data okay so if you want to overwrite if you want to overwrite for suppose we will be having ca cwr iphone one okay so if you want to overwrite this particular thing this particular row okay so we will be using uh, like lookup okay right so in this concept i will be explaining so what is the purpose of the lookup okay in the previous lectures as well i have explained about what is the purpose of the uh, you know lookup as well but in this episode i want to reiterate those concepts okay if you uh, miss any chance all right so lookup is nothing but what it's like a data retrieve okay now how many records it will fetch it's same it's same like a, i can say obj open kind of thing okay so now obj open how it retrieves so with the help of that uh, you know class key it will retrieve only one record right the same will happen with the lookup as well okay so the lookup only works with the page type structure okay if you can observe so the structure is page so that's why it will work okay so the lookup is nothing but what it's open it retrieves a single record okay right perfect so here the another concept is that lookup is nothing but what first whatever the data we are providing for suppose if you want to save some sort of record okay so first it will identify whether the particular key is present in the database or not for suppose if i want to uh, you know uh, if i want to capture some cwr iphone one okay let's take an example uh, if I, mm, yeah, so if I enter like CWR iPhone 1, okay, and if I just mention some D, uh, you know, uh, like test kind of thing, okay, so first what it does in the background means, first it will check whether the key is present or not. Why? Because this is the key, right? Okay, so this is the key, very quick, yeah, this is the key. First, it will perform a read operation, okay, in the back end. So whether the key present or not in particular database. If it is present, then it can update. If it is not present, then it throws an error. Why? Because here for the page and in order to save any particular record, okay, then obviously a key need to be configured. Here we might be getting that uh, while we use that lookup, right? We might be getting an error called missing parameters. Okay, now how to, uh, how to overcome these errors? okay so while we are using this lookup we are just only perform the readable operation means what for suppose if you want to oh, you know uh, like uh, collect some sort of or else uh, you know save some sort of data okay first what you need to provide you need to provide some sort of you know um, if you put other than like you know some uh, dummy data does it save obviously no why because here it only checks for the existing records but how about the adding new record? So that is the queen. Now how we can do? Okay. So in order to perform this thing, first what we need to do? First we need to do, uh, you know, a win condition kind of thing. First we need to check that whether the key present or not. If it is present, then it will update or override and save back. If it is not present, then what will happen? then we need to update a new record okay so if i enter some unique thing which I, which is not there obviously this is not there in this particular 
uh, data type. Now, what is our use uh, use uh, you know uh, user story? Now we need to save that particular record. But if we use this lookup, does it save? No. Why? Because we are not writing any sort of you know we are not configuring any sort of additional lookup is what first it will check whether the keys present is not key are uh, keys are present or not if it is present then you will update if it is not present then simply it will throw an error now how to overcome this okay now how to update a new record that is the question okay so for that as i iterated so i already configured like what suppose simply you need to write a when condition okay this when condition how we need to configure me we just we need to check whether the customer id there or not if it is not there that means what it is a unique okay it is a unique if it is not there then what will happen then we are writing a data transform so in this data transform not what we are configuring okay we need to configure this thing okay which we are collecting from the uh, uh you know clipboard for suppose if i just open this okay clipboard now what will happen now let's check mm, it is not opening yeah it's taking long time let's check all right see here in this clipboard page we will be having a pwa workpage dot cus data okay so pwa workpage dot cus data and what is the context over here so this is the context which we need to save okay saves back so this is nothing but a context now we need to where it went yeah now we we need to configure those into pairs and classes that's it so this is our context where we are collecting the data and uh, where we are saving we are saving back to this context as well so this is the context same same context so that's why we can directly configure like dot custody and dot custody okay so we are saving back to here that means we are providing a context to the data transform okay if it is not present then we need to map these things okay so that means what already in the clipboard we will be having some sort of data that has been mapped onto the clipboard so here we have the data source here we have the data now already we have the data right so whatever the data has been written over here now it saves back to the database that's it simple it's as simple as okay so don't make it complicated okay no one second i will explain see here so what we have to write so first we need to invoke a simple when condition where it checks whether keys are present or not if it is not present that means what it is a unique okay so we need to we need to create a separate i can say okay like create a new record okay so here over here now we need to invoke this data transform okay now it will map those okay now it saves back over here that's it simple otherwise if it is uh, you know uh, if if this when condition fails then obviously that is nothing but already present that means it is updating that one updating a that particular record if it is not present if it is a unique obviously so this is the condition okay so yeah so now what i will do means for suppose mm, test i will do and next this is a new record okay so this is a new record right if i am submitting okay now if i just refresh this thing now what will happen let's check so a new record must be added see here a new record has been added okay now what i will do means simply i will copy this thing uh, just a bit man yeah so i will copy this thing and i will try to overwrite this thing to cvr w c cwr there now so what i will do means uh, i will old record let's check okay old record updating now it's updating now i am refreshing see here old record has been updated and the new record also updated okay now once come back to here so first it will check based on the when condition if it is satisfies then it will create a new record if it is doesn't satisfy it comes over here and it performs a what updation okay so whatever the source has been retrieved it saves back that's it okay so it is as simple as okay so if you face any sort of problem okay so you can very well use this kind of configurations okay so this has been completed and switch back to the 
interview questions okay what are all the questions that might come okay yeah in the first question order of execution okay now how this order will execute okay so as i iterated right uh, where it okay let's check where it went yeah so this is the action this is nothing but a post processing first when condition uh, first saveable data page will invoke okay first it will execute that and then later on obviously we will be having a data transform and then later on we will be having this run uh, activity that means the final rule will be activity if you want to perform some sort of error handling okay before before committing back to the database you can very well handle in the activity so that's why pega suggest to use that saveable data page in the flow action okay so this is the main reason why pega is suggesting to use that saveable data page into the flow action why because we can uh, handle easily those exception handlings with the help of this run activity why because this is the final rule which will execute be just before the saving or committing into the database okay so that's how we can handle easily all right now the second question which one will uh yeah order x yeah which one will execute first save or data sources okay now here we will be having a data sources and we will be having a sources as well let's check let's i will come here okay so these are nothing but what data sources and this is nothing but what data save options okay now which one will execute first okay right in order to save something obviously we need some source right we need them source okay so without source how we can save those okay without data okay without data how we can save back okay so obviously first we need first it will execute this thing data sources okay it will gather the data okay it will gather and it will retrieve the data so once we get the data then whatever the data we get okay it directly saves back to the save option that's it whatever we configure over here either it's database save or some activity if you are performing any sort of looping same okay it's like a same kind of thing okay so don't confuse first it will execute this thing data source and second it will execute the saveable data save options whatever we configure that's it okay no further question simple all right is there any function uh, to trigger save action in data transform obviously no okay data transform is only useful for the what just for mapping that's it okay if you want to override or if you want to uh, you know manipulate some sort of data that's it okay uh, it can't save okay even if you have some sort of function to save that okay it can't possible with the dt simple no questions right so for multiple save our plans uh, we can we stop the execution of the second plan when the first one yeah when the first one fails okay so this is the question okay so what they are asking means for suppose if we have a multiple save option like this okay we will be having a multiple save options okay so what happens if first one fails okay first one fails how about the second one okay that is the question uh, for the multiple save option can we stop the execution yeah so what it what uh, you know they are asking means first for suppose if the first one fails okay first one the save option fails okay now can we stop the second execution okay that is the question while we are executing this data save options right if if the first save option get fails okay it never picks the second option okay that is a simple okay so the third question is is there any workaround if the first one fails yeah so is there any sort of workaround obviously we have we can have this when condition right okay we can have this when condition okay we will be having a multiple when conditions right we can have this multiple when condition with uh, based on those when condition we can do that okay right and the second thing is that we can always we can always think of we can always think of this error handling okay like as i said right so we will let let refresh this thing so we will be having a response dt that's it so in the response dt what will happen how we need to uh, think of means first suppose if the first save option get fails okay if the first save option get fails right so before committing okay before going into the commit right so first what we need to do we need to clear those errors with the help of this response dt 
okay so with the help of this responsibility we need to clear those messages before just a commit okay so that it picks the second options and saves back to the uh, you know db so this is what happens actually okay so before committing we need to clear those okay right with the help of that responsibility and the second option which we can think of like as i iterated right in the first thing right we will be having a activity in the post processing okay if you use that activity you now the final rule which will execute just before the uh, you know db transaction that you might activity right so you can very well handle those uh, those exceptions in the post processing of the activity but make sure it doesn't create any sort of discrepancy with the concurrent data okay so it always best to use and uh, in order to handle those exceptions but just to think of whether it creates any sort of you know uh, unnecessary data discrepancies or not okay just you need to think if it is work if if it work fine then you can use this response data transform and as well as however you will be having that activity in order to handle those exceptions handling and in order to clear those messages all right and the other thing is that yeah iteration how we can do this iteration obviously with the help of that activity we can loop those okay we can uh, we can loop those and we can save each and every step okay we need to uh, you know save uh, each and every record by using this right now okay so that every record will save back to the database okay and make sure to inculcate a proper error handling while uh you know while retrieving and as well as while saving back to the database okay so make sure to have a a good error handling and as well as make sure to have this uh you know exit activity for every uh you know loop after completing after completion of that operation okay so make sure to use these capabilities okay in order to have a good uh you know method of execution okay so this is the healthy way to iterate those records okay right so multiple save yeah obviously we will be having a multiple save options as well in the saveable data page okay as i said you can use this when condition okay with the help of that when conditions you can very well use this multiple save options okay so with this we have completed today's session okay so we have come to know about how you can use this lookup okay what is the purpose of lookup uh, if unique params okay if uh, if unique params comes to comes into this picture now how we can do how you need to store that unique param and that is nothing but new record if existing record are there if existing record is there now how to update that okay how to handle those error, uh, exception handlings okay so and also few of the real time scenarios questions that been that been you know asked okay during uh, you know technical round okay that has been covered during today's session okay all right so if you have any sort of questions regarding saveable data page okay you can however you can use this comment box okay and in the next lecture i will be saying about this uh, this another about page kind of thing right so i will be explaining about list kind of thing how we can do in a best way all right yeah and also i will be covering few of the interview questions as well okay so there is no limit to stop this interview questions with respect to the saveable data page all right so this is the end of this session okay so if you like our video if you like our sessions okay so please to hit the subscribe button so that no updates will be missed from mine all right yeah so happy learning okay so yeah happy pega all right bye bye take care